I am Velpa and today we are going to learn about coordinate geometry in the XY plane and its applications in real life. The first question we ask is the following, what is coordinate geometry? And the answer to that is, it is a bridge between algebra and geometry. To make this idea clearer, we will look at an example. Let us say that we are given an equation which is y equals x plus 1. This equation gives us certain information. If x is 0, then y is 1. Next, if x is minus 1, then y is equal to 0. Similarly, we can get many more such values. This was for the algebra side. On the geometry side, suppose we have this coordinate axis. We can plot this pair of points as follows. The first point is 0, 1, which is plotted here. The second point is minus 1 and 0, which is plotted here. And we can plot many more points and finally be able to draw a line. And this line has the equation y equals x plus 1. And this is precisely the correspondence between algebra and geometry. That is, geometric shapes are described by using algebraic equations. Also, each point on this plane is given a pair of numbers depending on its position and this pair is known as the coordinates x, y. Although there were some other mathematicians who used similar ideas, most people give credit to Descartes for developing this. Hence, x, y coordinates is also known as Cartesian coordinates. Now, let us look at some applications. There are several applications of coordinate geometry, some of which we will talk about here. Firstly, it is used in GPS navigation, something that many of us use quite regularly. This in turn is applied to several more areas, some of which are as follows. It is used in location tracking, while driving etc. It is used by military for strategic purposes. It is also used in agriculture as well as surveying the geography of a region. We will look at a specific example of location tracking. Food delivery services rely on location tracking to provide proper service. The actual model is complex, so we will look at a simplified version here. Suppose we have the following map of an area. The restaurant, P for pizza, is situated here. And the order has been placed from two houses located on the left and the top. Now, there are certain areas which can't be accessed by the delivery vehicle, such as this and this, as well as this. Here, information for each coordinate is stored by the system, and the system finds a path accordingly, which means we get a route which looks like this, and this completes the food delivery example. Next, let us consider the case of digital photography. Suppose we have taken a photo of this view. What does the camera do to store this image? The whole image is divided into points or pixels and this idea comes from coordinate geometry. What happens next? The color for each pixel is stored digitally by the camera. Hence, if you look at the current picture, then this point has black color stored, this has white and this has blue. And adding everything gives us back the whole photo. There are numerous other areas where coordinate geometry is applied, such as in software design, like drawing or writing on the screen, which I am doing now. Hence, even making this video itself requires coordinate geometry. It's also used in medical science for taking different types of body scans like MRI, CT, etc. Further, animation is possible because of coordinate geometry. Consequently, many video games and movies also make use of it. I hope you found the video interesting and learned some new things. Thank you.